All right, so good evening, everyone. Hi. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. All right, so good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. How are night, you? Brenda. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Mama. Nice. Mama. All right, so I, I, I can hear you and I can hear your son in there. You know? Yes, it's my, it's my little girl. <laughs> That's okay. It's a little girl, okay? Yes, it's my baby. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's your companion, you know, your best friend. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yes, you know, she's gonna, you know, hopefully she's gonna learn something. You know, I have a, uh, I also have a three year old uh, boy. And sometimes, you know, he gets a couple of words, you know, he, when he hears me speak. He tells me, yeah, he tells me like, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, and he says, he's, he, also, he also says, okay, sometimes like, okay, he says. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. Nice. Um, let me ask you this. Did you have a chance to take the quiz again? You know, I... You know, this time I made sure everything was correct and just to change the format and everything. So you, so you didn't get frustrated, okay? Okay. 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 So, so would you like to uh, review, so would you like to review the quiz with me, you know, so I can go over yes, point by point I, and explain. I like. You. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. We need, I need. <laughs> you need the, you need yes. the feedback. feedback yes, right. I need. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Yes, I just so much. get two, two good. <laughs> okay, two out of five. All right. Yes. That's okay. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was tricky, you know, it was a tricky one. Yes. All right. So, so what's up, um, Alex? What's up? <laughs> it's like what's up? It's like it's, it's like, like the scary, scary movie. movie. Like the scary movie, right? Oh. Like, what's up? Like that. What's right? up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me let me uh, go ahead and share the screen right now, so so we don't waste time on this one. So I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip for a second the word of the date or tonight's word because I want to uh, review this exam with you, this uh, pop quiz, you know, teachers love assigning pop quiz. And this is one of the cases over here. All right. But, uh, so this is what we have. Let's see. So the first one. So basically this exercise was divided in two parts. You have to look at the correct question Okay, yes, no question, and then just try to see if the question matches the answer in there with the subject, the verb, and pretty much everything. So it was difficult over there. And uh, let me, uh, you know, pretend that I'm one of you in here and, and uh, see if I can actually uh, take this and show you how it actually looks like. Okay, just one second. And uh, here we go. But you know, right now you're supposed to help me. So let me share with you my email in here is this one. That's my personal email. You can actually write to me over there or say homework, you know, it's up to you. I always check that email. So this is how this exam looks like uh, as of right now. You know, I made some changes instead of having all the three responses. I mean, the three options in there. I think it was better to have like a drop down menu, just like this. No, I know, now it's easier. Yeah, it's easier now. Yes, it's easier now. This is like the, the version like 4.0 update, you know. <laughs> right. Nice. Let's see, Alex, now that you spoke in here, sir, help me complete this. Let me just read the first option and you tell me why you know, this uh, option is correct or not. And then, then I'm going to tell you I agree with you or I don't agree with you because of this, okay? Okay. So the first one is, did you get up at 8 a.m. this morning? 
Yes, I did. I got up at eight o'clock sharp. Is that okay? It's okay. Yes. All right, so that's yes. great. Yes. Let's see, what about the second one? And let's see, Alex, did you get up at 8 a.m. this morning? Yes, I did. I get up at 8 sharp. So is it okay or not? No, it's not. What it's are not the correct, two right? what are the two mistakes in here? What two mistakes, you know, do these uh, sentences, question and sentence? Gets. Uh, and the first, first one where it gets. It, it, has, it has gets in here. What about the response in here? So is there anything uh, wrong in here? Yeah, it's like a UD, right? But they had to do wrong with the past. Exactly. Get, so it, it has to be pass. got, right? What What about the next one? Did you go, I mean, did you get up at 8 a.m. this morning? Yes, you did. You got gotten up at 8, uh, 8 sharp. So what are the two yeah. mistakes in there mainly? Yeah, you, you, you're using the auxiliary deal. You, you don't have to use a, a verb in the past, right? That's right. All right. You have to use a, a verb in its basic form, you know? Basic form, yeah. And uh, what about here, this verb? That's in... You know, if you want to become past, gra grammatically, past you know... Past participle is, is not correct, right? It, you it's a it, past participle. Yeah. We use it with the present perfect, right? And the yeah. past perfect. All right, so that being said, this should be the correct one, right? Did you get mm -hmm. up at 8 a.m. this morning? Yes, I did. I got up at 8 sharp. Sharp means, you know, o'clock over there. Right. Uh, let's see, uh, a volunteer who would like to help me with number two. Let's see. All right, so another volunteer, you know, who, who would like to help me on number two. I'm here, teacher. All right, go ahead, please, sir. So we have, uh, let's see, who, who says yes in here? Uh, Edgar? Hi. Do you hear yeah. me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you, sir. So I think I'm gonna do the same. So let me read the question in there, and then uh, you tell me if it's so correct or not. I mean, the options over there. By the way, uh, everyone, if you haven't taken this quiz, you know, a second or a third time, and, and you would like to take it right now, you're free to go. I mean, go ahead. You can take it right now. You know, as we speak. Okay. And Okay, now, it, you know, the presentation, you know, the format is, you know, is user friendly, <laughs> okay? And uh, on uh, in there, it only shows the option that you chose, okay? So, Edgar, question number two, we have, did they travel by train or on their last vacation? No, they didn't, they traveled by plane. Is that okay or not, sir? Not, it's not okay. Why not? Because, for example, the answer, they travel by plane. Exactly. And mm -hmm. It was my, it was my, my mistake yesterday. All right. Yes. Correct. <laughs> the the means of transportation, you know, needs to match the, uh, I would say, the hint, you know, on the question in there. So it was by train. Next one. They did travel by train on their last vacation. No, they didn't. They traveled by plane. So, what's the mistake in that one? Uh, the the did is a bit after the day. Right, we need yes. to change it. Yeah, did sh uh, should go before the uh, pronoun or the subject. Yeah, you got it. And that's pretty much. It. And then the means of transportation is wrong. Next one. Did they travel by train on their last vacation? Yes, they did. They travel by train. That's correct. So that's the correct one, right? So we have a an structure of a question in there, okay, with the auxiliary uh, beginning the uh, question and then uh, followed by the subject, by the verb in its base form, and then the complement, and then a question mark over there. But but yesterday in the first in the first quiz, it wasn't like that, right? No, it wasn't like that. Yes, right. I have to review this, right. you know, because I did it in a rush. Um, but now it's it's correct. All mm -hmm. right. Yes, I, I know a hundred percent sure that this is this is correct. You know, I have to I have to you know I have to take it myself <laughs> to you know to make sure of this. Yes, and sometimes you know on computer when you type something or you don't type in you know a, a word, so that changes the whole meaning. And that's what happened over there. 
What about the next one over there? So 1990, and uh, let's see a, a lady, let's see, uh, Veronica, would you like to help us over here? All right, so uh, Veronica, would you like to help good us? Good night. Yeah, good night. Uh, so I'm gonna read, I'm gonna do the same in here. So did you go to school in 1990? No, you didn't. I went to school in 1996. Okay, I'm not going to stop to ask you why, you know, what the mistake is about. I, I, just, I just need you to tell me if it's correct or not, please. So okay. we can advance with the class. So uh, is okay. this okay or not? No, no, it's okay. okay it's, it, it, because it's, it's the, the 96 and 90. All right. High so school year, in 90. Uh -huh. the, year, yeah. the year is still much. Okay, next one. Did you go to high school in 1990? Yes, I did. I went to high school in 1990. Is that okay or not? Mm. Uh, for me, it's okay. Actually, that, that's a correct one. And we're going mm -hmm. to stop in here because it says, did you went to high school? Of course, you don't mm -hmm. do this, right? This is in pass. All right, okay. so next one. Now you see, gentlemen, you know, your, your eyes have been open, you know. <laughs> now we're right? clear. Yeah, everything is clear now, starting, you know, from this point. So next one, uh, let's see. It's about the cinema, right? So we have, I know, you know, just by looking at this, this is incorrect because it has went. Yeah. The next one, it says this one. It has go, right? So it should be in the past. It should be went. The next mm -hmm. one, did you all go to the cinema last weekend? Therefore, this is the correct one. And if I submit this just like this, okay, I'm missing the last one in here. Yeah. Uh, did he eat? This is incorrect. So the best thing that you could have done yesterday was look at the question and then look at the response. If everything is correct, you know, that should be the right one. Yes, that was correct. All right, so I think this is the one. Did he eat an apple today? Yes, he did. He, uh, no, this is incorrect. He eats, he says. No, this uh, no, no, no. Did he eat an apple today? Yes, he did. He ate an apple today. That's the one. And there we go. Let's see if you score. Let's see how much we got, you know, all together. Five out of five. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dieciséis cabezas piensa mejor que uno. ¿eh? Of course, of course, right? Yes, teamwork. You know, that's what it is. It's teamwork. All right. So let me stop sharing this screen with you. Sorry about that. And then, uh, let's see. I have the presentation for you today, and this is the one. All right, so are you are you guys uh, able to see the screen I'm sharing, like in full screen, the, the uh, presentation or not? Yes. All right, so the agenda for today, it's pretty much, you know, to review the quiz. It was uh, point number three. However, I, I, I think it was better to do it, you know, right away. So the idiom mm -hmm. for today is going to be to bite a bullet. I'm going to give you more details about it. And then you're gonna practice, you know, a conversation using was and were, like the one you practiced yesterday, very short, conversation one, two, three, and four. And there's mm -hmm. going to be something extra, which is a, a short quiz, you know, like comprehension quiz based on that. And hopefully you're gonna have time to practice a board game, you know, not a boring game, you know, a board game boring. using was and were, and also WH questions with it. So that's the plan for tonight, everyone. So the word of the day, bite the bullet. All right? Any ideas about this? All right, so do not, do not use the internet, you know, to look for the word. <laughs> okay. okay. So try to think, any, any ideas about this? Translations? Morder la bala. Uh, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about uh, Hermanos Flores, right? La bala, right? <laughs> it's not that, right? Yes. You know, there's a new version of la bala, right? La bala digital, right? Something like that, right? But I go I go with the old one. You know, that was better. That, that was better. So, any ideas about this? No. All right, take a look. Yeah. What if, okay, so what if I, if I give you 
a, a, uh, a meaning or a definition. Make yourself do something difficult or unpleasant. For example, if, if, you, if you don't like, I don't know, uh, to be in the traffic jam, but it's 6 p.m. on a Friday, payday, all right? <laughs> all right. So you'll have to bite the bullet, all right? You have to face the situation. Now, are you getting the idea now? Does it make sense now? Okay, if, if it doesn't, let me uh, give you some synonyms over here. So to buy someone the bullet, says, mm -hmm. someone says, someone says, agarrar los, el toro por los cuernos. Yes, that's <clears throat> the one it is. That's the one it is. Yes, that's what we say. Or to try, you know, try to deal with a problem or difficulty. You know, in other words, to face a difficult situation. But as you said, so that's why we said in the sabor. We have some other slang that we use that I'm not supposed to, to share with you, but it has to do with X, you know, in, in Spanish. Hacerle X, that's what we say, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. So this, I think that's the preferred example. And you know what? That's why I chose it. That's why I chose this expression, you know, by the bullet. Because we Salvadorians, that's what we do every single day, you know, bite the bullet. Okay. <laughs> Always. You know, the, the gas, the gasoline, it, you know, goes up. We have to buy the bullet, you know, because we have to do it. <laughs> but that's informal. If you want to say something uh, formally speaking, you have to say deal with. All right. Okay. I have to deal with this. So deal with it. You say, hágale frente. You know, that's what we say. Mm. Right. Or face it. Encarelo, verdad? So face it, you gotta face it. Like the quiz, you know, like the quiz, you know, you, you faced it, right? And you beat it, right? You defeated yeah. the quiz. So you beat the bullet, en pasado, verdad? Beat the bullet because it already happened, okay? Nice. Now, can you think of, can you think of an example, everyone? I think it's easier, right? <laughs> Yes, like for like I, I would say like in this pandemic, all right. So we have to stay home and adapt and take classes, you know, and work and do pretty much everything. So pretty much what we did is to bite the bullet, or you bit the bullet, right? Like the show must go on. Like this example. So uh, let me choose Brenda. Brenda, help me read this example. This the one I have in this screen. Well, I have a hard exam to okay. take. I have a hard exam to take tomorrow. I'll, I'll have to buy the, the, the bullet. I have no choice. Yeah, we have no choice. You know, that's what happens over there. Okay. All right. That's what I said. You know, we have to uh, face it, like we said in Spanish, you know, with X, you know, algo mencionado con huevos por ahí va. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> nice <laughs> let's continue with this uh, you know hopefully everyone you're not going to forget this uh, idiom in there okay sorry about that okay. bite the bullet okay mm -hmm. let's continue mm -hmm. let's continue with the class second i mean second thing that i have for you to uh for you tonight is a conversation you see similar like the one i shared with you yesterday divided in conversation one, two, three, and four. Very simple. But tonight I'm going to take some uh, some minutes or some seconds to explain the grammar. You know, grammar using uh, past tense, okay, with regular uh, and, and regular verbs, etc. cetera. Uh, we, I'll, I'll be also explaining the difference between the yes and WH questions briefly. And then we, you guys are going to practice this. this. These are the conversations over here, okay? So these are the conversations here. So uh, let me just minimize this screen, okay? And now I'll be sending to you the uh, material for you to listen to this conversation, you know, in the, in the personal chat. All right, so are we clear? 
Yes. All right, yes. so just, just one second over here. Ya mucho habló el teacher, así que it's your turn now to speak. <laughs> now, please let me know if you're able to access to the material I'm, I'm sharing with you right now. Okay, I sent it to the uh, personal chat. I'm also uh, going to share it in here in the, uh, in the Zoom meeting chat. There you go. Did you get it? Yes. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna that. ask. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, Robert, Robert Celaya. Could you tell me if you're able to play the audio? Or well, everyone, can anybody else tell me if if the audio can be played? Please. Okay. <clears throat> yes, Robert. Yes. All right. Now, uh, we'll call right now. Okay. Uh, all right, so German uh, can be here. Okay, let's see, no problem. All right. So why don't you take the time, okay, right now to listen to the to the audio, and please uh, do not look at the conversation over there. So try to understand, you know, what the conversation is about, and then I'll go ahead and share the screen with you. Okay. So, so you have you have this conversation. Let me just mute your microphones here because I, I can hear, uh, you know, some of you in the background. Just one second here. There you go. So what I'm saying, everyone, is like right now. Go to the material, listen to this, uh, you know, and, and then just try to understand, you know, the conversation number one. What you can do is in your notebook or maybe in your cell phone, just write conversation number one and then the main idea. All right, then conversation number two, main, uh, main idea, conversation, conversation three, main idea, and number four is the, is the uh, main idea. So I'm going to ask you in general, what, you know, what was the first conversation about, what was number two about, three, and, and so on. All right, so uh, are we clear? Yes. All right, so just play, yeah. the, just play the audio, do not look at the script, please. But right, okay, conversation number one, it was about this, conversation two, about this, and so on. Yes? Yes. All right, yes. so uh, go ahead, please. You have two minutes, okay? And uh, two minutes to start right, right now. Let's see. All right, so one more minute. Remember that uh, right now you're listening to the conversations without looking at the script. All right, just uh, write uh, conversation one, main idea, number two, main idea, three and four and so on. Okay. All right, so uh, 40 more seconds in here.
All right, so time is up, everyone. All right, so stop doing what you're doing, please. And uh, I'll be choosing you know, a couple of you in here since I'm able to see uh, all of your uh, avatars and everything. So let's see, uh, Karen, if you're able to unmute your microphone, please help me with the conversation number one, main idea, please. I'm not going to share the screen with you. I'll be just looking at the uh, information you know, in front of me because uh, the point is that you're supposed to get this you know, without actually reading it. Okay. So, Karen, are you here? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, Karen, yes, Miss Karen Galdama. So, uh, thank you. And um, just one moment, please. All right. So, what was the first conversation about? What's the main topic over there, Karen? This is movie terror. It was a horror movie. But it's scary movie, right? Horror hey, this this okay. is very this horror everyone movie. this excuse me, Karen. This this very appropriate, you know, like what's up? What we said, right? <laughs> yes. Right. So it's about a movie, right? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So let me ask a boy in here. Uh, someone who I you know I haven't heard uh, Javier, Mr. Rivas, help us on here, please. I'm your microphone. Yes, thank you. All right, thank you, sir. So, what was uh, the second conversation about? Uh, it's about uh, work. Uh, the woman, it was work, and the man come back to work. So, it's about, okay, it's like in the working place, right? Working place. Okay. Uh, all right, so something happened with the man that he went to the store, right? And, and he didn't see uh, the her friend, maybe, in the shop, and she tells, I mean, she tells him or she told him that he, she was there, <laughs> but he didn't see her, right? Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, uh, Javier. Let's see. Conversation number three in here. We'll go with uh, a lady over here. Go ahead, please. Stephanie. Like, unmute your mic, please. Thank you. Yes. What about conversation three? It was about how was the test. Uh, they mentioned that the test was really hard. Yes, like yesterday's quiz, right? <laughs> All right, I appreciate that, Stephanie. Nice. Yeah. And then, yeah, like yesterday's quiz, right? It was tricky, you know. It was not 20 questions long, but it was, you know, complicated <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it didn't kill you, but you were close, you know, <laughs> to be killed. <laughs> <laughs> you survive, you know. Okay, let's see. Luis, Mr. Bautista. Yes. All right, so Luis, what was conversation for about, sir? It's about the party. Okay, yes. It was a, a party with her. So it's Tom and Katie, right? Yes. All right. Something that you remember out of this, you know, it was about a, at a party, but something happened or, or anything? Do you know who is, who is, who was the party? Who was at the party, pretty much? Who, like, yes. who was, the, okay. So the point is, at a, at a party, but it's, you know, who was there, you know? Okay. Okay. Nice. So we have four different topics in here. The first one is of the movies. Number two is at work. Number three is at a school, maybe. Okay. And the last one is uh, at a party. Is that correct, everyone? Yes. Yes. Right now, yes. if you now let's let me share the screen with you. Okay, just one more time. Uh, this is the time for you to practice. But let me go ahead and share the screen a uh, last time so I can actually send you, you know, to the lions. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, there we go. I'm sorry about that. That's the one. So right now, I want you to practice this conversation with a friend. Of course, I'm going to split you up in the breaker rooms. So and please practice conversation one, two, three, and four, but do not read. So do me that big favor. 
if you ask the question, just go. You know, what was the movie? Oh, cierra los ojos, perdón. Mire para arriba. Look up. Look on the other side. You know, or just do this. I don't know. Put a page just like this. You know, it's very short, and this is going to help you become fluent. All right. Okay. All right. So 16, 15 participants uh, is going to be, you know, a, a trio right here. But mostly you guys are going to be practicing in pairs. Uh, let's see. There you go. Okay. Uh, Alex is with Javier. Brenda is with uh, Herman. Edgar is with Jacqueline. Stephanie with Miguel. And Hilda Contreras with Roberto. Karen with... Uh, Veronica and then Karen uh, Galdames is with Luis. And Roberto is forever alone, so I'm going to send you. You're going to practice with me right now, Roberto, okay? Roberto Celaya. All right, so Karen, uh, yeah, thank you. Join the, uh, yeah, thank you, Karen. And, uh, uh, Herman, are, are you available right now, or, or are you still in, in the uh, in the work uh, phone call? Uh, all right, so he's available over there. All right, so hello, Robert. Hello. Uh, I am for I am alone. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, the things that uh, you guys are only uh, fifteen students right now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, but I'm going to practice with you, you know, I'm not going to let you down, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm here, you know. But but after this, Robert, if nobody else joins uh, the class, I'm going to move you to uh, another breaker room so you can practice with somebody else, okay? So I'm going to be the woman, you know, I'm going to sacrifice myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you'll be the man. Go ahead, please. Okay, uh, how was the movie? It was really good. Uh, but it's scary. Yeah, it was really scary. Hey, nice. What is crowded? Uh, no, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. Just one more thing. Uh, so was it crowded? Crowded. Crowded. Yeah, so was it crowded, you would say? Okay, estaba topado. It's crowded, yes. Yeah, that's the minimum. So conversation number two. So now, uh, Roberto, you're going to be the woman, okay? Okay. And I'll be the man. So here we go. Uh, okay, so I'm the man, okay, remember. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes, you'll be the woman. Uh, so where were you last night? I, I, I was at, at work. Really? I was at your shop, but you weren't there. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really? I was there. Yeah, I don't believe you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were you were with somebody else in there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Robert, I'm going to send you to uh, another breaker room. Okay. Okay. So you practice with somebody else, you know. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. There you go. So move, please. Go, go away, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, which conversation we are going to practice? Hello? Hello? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right, yeah. Uh, I told you, know, the system, you know, you know, have taken me out of the uh, phone call right now. I got scared a little bit, you know, that's why. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, you know, I thought something was wrong over here. So now let's practice with somebody else. I'm going to, uh, you, know, team, you know, team you up with somebody else and then practice the four conversations you know practice you know uh, playing the role as the man and then as the woman in the four conversations and vice versa all right mm -hmm. now if you think that you should continue with the conversation like for example uh look at this screen right now i'm going to share this with you 
in this one, you know, when the guy or the man goes to the shop just to see if the, the girl was working over there and, you know, he didn't see her, but she told him, you know, I was working. I was at the back working. And he was like, you were? And then the, the woman replies, really? I was there. I mean, really? I was there. And then you can add a new sentence. Over there. Actually, you're lying to me. You know, I didn't see you. Maybe you were with somebody else, you know? You can do that. Right? Okay. Yes. So you can add some script to this. So make the story more interesting and longer. Copy that, okay. everyone. Yes. Copy nice. That. Uh, all right. So breaker rooms, second uh, installment now. Hold on. Uh, so we only have 14 participants in here. Let's see. And besides practicing the conversation, you know, try to practice the idiom of today. You know, bite the bullet if you want to. Okay? Yes. Thank you. So join the, the rooms over here, please. So Karen, you're with Roberto Celaya. Alex, you're with Hilda. Herman, you're with Roberto Alas. And then Stephanie with Veronica. Brenda with uh, Jacqueline. Edgar with Javier. And Karen with Miguel Franco. All right. Uh, I wasn't your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show me a picture, right? Show me a photo. Yeah, he, he, he didn't believe <laughs> me. <laughs> Mandame una foto. <laughs> yeah. Well. yeah, send me a picture, right? Yes. Don't be a toxic person. <laughs> okay, continue. Next. Number three. Um, yes. How was the test? It was really hard. How long, how, how long was it? The church is uh, Luna. Oh, do you have? I have pet? Yes, only one. Really? Yes, uh, his big? name is Terry. <laughs> Terry? No, he's. Yes, the name is Terry. Um, the age is three months. Three months. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> yeah, it's a baby still. <laughs> yeah. Um, which All right. So that you know that was good. I I was able to see that, that some of you were very excited. You know, very excited practicing this. You know, you know. You actually got into the, the role. <laughs> yeah, that's nice in there. But let me uh, go ahead and do a review of the grammar, 
okay? No, I almost forgot. The next thing that you're, that you're supposed to do on this uh, conversation is to test, you know, your comprehension, okay? So let's see how much you, you are able to understand out of this. And in order for you to do that, you need to uh, go to the same uh, place, the same material, listen to the audio, and choose the, the correct answer out of this one. Let's see, I'm gonna ask, uh, let's see, um, Herman, Herman, help us over this, please. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. All right, thank you. So don't give me the answer, please, but just tell me, I don't know, yes or not, that you are able to, uh, you know, get my idea, what you guys are supposed to do. So go to the what to, to this pay, place, I'm yes. sorry, and then just uh, play the audio, listen to this, and then choose between A or B, that's it. And then just click check answers, uh, or do not, do not uh, <laughs> you know, show answers over here, so don't do that, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. All right. So everybody, please do the same. Please, I'm going to give you. Uh, let me ask you. So, uh, Herman, how long is the video? I mean, is the the audio, by the way, like a minute or something? Uh, um, yes, a minute, a minute and fifteen seconds. So, do you think like like uh, two minutes will be okay? Yes. All right. So let's let's go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, now look at just my screen. I'll be sharing, you know, the stopwatch, the contometer, okay? okay? But uh, let me just one second, please. Let me just uh, show you this. And uh, so, Herman, can you see the clock over there? Eight. Can you see the yes, watch yes, over yes. there? Yes, okay. So yes. on the count of three, okay, pay attention. You only have two minutes. One, two, three. Go ahead, please. I'm gonna mute your microphones, okay. All right. Nice. Uh, why don't you Why don't you do something over here? If you can get, I don't know, a screenshot or something and send it to the chat, please. Like to see the yeah. score that, that you got in there. I mean, this is not mandatory, but I, I like to see, you know, your scores in there. You know, you know I want to get happy, you know, to see that you guys, you know, get it, got everything correct. <laughs> Just like yesterday quiz, okay? <laughs> that that was a nightmare. No, I, <laughs> I think you had nightmares yesterday, you know, last night. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh share the uh the uh 
the screenshot of your script, please. I mean, I just want to see how much you got. It's not because I'm going to tell you. I mean, I mean, you are a bad student, you know, or a great student. Okay. All right. Um, here we go. Nice. I, I can see. Nice. Okay. So thank you so much in there. Nice. Everybody got a perfect score. Congrats on that one. Now, take a look at this screen. So apparently I'm sharing with you the PowerPoint presentation. Is that, is that, uh, is that the case over here? Can you see the, the quiz on my screen? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, like in full screen. So let me just ask everybody and you just tell me. So how was the movie? Uh-huh, scary or boring? Scary. Okay, scary. Where, what, where was she last night? At work. She at was work. at work. Yeah, that's what she says, right? Supposed to be at home. Right. <laughs> yeah, maybe, I don't know, sleeping, right? Or in the cinema, we don't know, right? Maybe in the movie, right? <laughs> so how was the test? No easy. Not easy. Not easy. It was not easy, right? She says it was not very long. You know, it only had uh, 20 questions, but it was a little bit hard. So what was not there at the party? Tom, Tom and Katie. Tom and Katie. Katie. But their son, their, their son was over there, right? Is that the case? Okay. All right, so for the next, let's see, for the next two or three minutes, I'm going to uh, go over this review of the uh, simple pass grammar notes. If you like, I can also send these images to you, you know, in the personal chat so you can have them. And let's do that, please. I'm going to send this to you because I think that some of you are, are, some of you are just ahead of, of, of some classmates and some others, you know, would like to take their time, you know, to read and, and do things you know, on your own, all right? Okay. So let me share, you know, those uh, points about grammar right now with you. So just give me 30 seconds in here, all right? So I'm gonna send this to you in the, in the personal chat. So just one second in here. Um, there we go. Because I think that it, it's even better, you know, that you have the material in your handy where you can actually study and review it at any time. Okay? So the images are, are being sent right now. Could someone tell me if you got it, please? Yeah? In the personal yeah. chat? Okay, yeah. thank you. So now I just share the same information. I'll be speaking right now for the next two minutes. So point number one, we use the simple past to talk about complete events, okay, or completed events over here. And, and then very quickly, let me choose a participant, the air guard. So example one, two, three, and four, sir. We, very quickly, please, we watched. Uh -huh. We watched a really good movie. Uh -huh. I went to the Nepal for a year. I played tennis when I was a kid. They bought a new house. Thank you. Let's see, Hilda, help us please on number two, and uh, point number two. So affirmative sentences use the past tense form of the verb, which often is an ED ending. In this case, I'm talking about regular verbs. You just put ED most of the time. There are some exceptions over there, okay? So Hilda, I stay home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Este, he stay at home and study. Okay. She worked late last night. She cooked a big dinner. She washed and ironed the right. clothes. And ironed the clothes. Ironed. Yeah, that's okay. Plantar. Yes. <laughs> You got it. Thank you so much, Hilda. And let me just make a quick pause on this. Listen to the pronunciation, please. I'm not going to give you rules or something like this because I don't want you to get confused. But at least remember the pronunciation of those verbs in past tense. You know, stay just like that. It's like if you're saying the verb, 
in present. You say, I stay home and study. O sea, don't say, I stayed. O sea, que piensa que se le va a salir, ¿verdad? El cerebro, ¿verdad? Vamos a caer ahí. No, just, just he stayed home and studied. Number two, he worked late last night. Worked. Please, never, please, say work it. Please do not say Please do not say wash it. Mejor digámoslos en presente, pero no lo digamos así, por favor. Ok. Wash. For, for example, wash. I'm, not talking, I'm not talking about you, Hilda. I'm, I'm just saying this in general. So we will say, he worked late last night. He, she cooked a big dinner. He washed and, and ironed the clothes. Se escucha mal si decimos, he washed it and ironed the clothes. You see the difference over there? All right. So I think it's you know it's better to say the verb like in in present than say the word you know cook it or work it or stay it. Okay. So he stay home. He worked late. She cooked a big dinner. He watched the night on the clothes. All right. Point number four. Many verbs have an irregular form that is not an ed ending, but rather a special spelling. And this is actually pretty simple, which you are familiar with. And let's see a gentleman over here who I haven't heard yet. Uh, Bobby Alas, help us, sir. Mr. Bobby. All right, so Bobby, right now you're muted. So unmute your microphone, please. Thank you. So okay. the examples, please, on point number four. Go ahead, please. Okay, I met you last night. We have dinner at the new coffee. Cafe. Uh, we ate bagel pasta. Later, we saw a movie. It made me cry. <laughs> he bought dinner, so I paid for the movie. Thank you so much, uh, Bobby. So we have, we have dinner at the new cafe. Cafe means like a cafeteria, you know, a restaurant, you know, but it's like informal. Okay. So these four points are telling you. So the the past is used to talk about completed events. Okay. The number two is pay attention, please, to the pronunciation of regular verbs. I'm sorry, and number three, I'm sorry, is my mistake over there. Uh, many verbs have an irregular form. You know, meet becomes uh, met, have become had, eat becomes ate, see, so, and then make, mate, and buy, bought, 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 okay? And hold on, please. Next slide. And... Sorry about that. Point number six. It's actually point number four, you know, the one I'm about to talk about. Okay. Let me ask you, would you like me to continue with this explanation or are you going to take the time to review at home? I mean, otherwise I'll move forward with the next activity, everyone. We move forward. All right, so let's move forward over here. So, because mm -hmm. I think it's better if we practice, you know, uh, this grammar, you can have it with, with you. You can yes. review it at any time. All right, so thank you. Next, next activity over here. And um, this is what I have in here. Okay, there we go. We only have eight minutes before this class is over, okay? Nice. Okay, let me ask you, did you guys uh, do this yesterday? No. You didn't, no. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you didn't do the next one either, right? Not right? No, we didn't. All right, no. so right now, in the next seven minutes, you're gonna be practicing this in purse the first time, and the second time you're gonna be practicing in groups of three. So. You start over here, you know, on the top left hand corner of your screen, and then you move forward over there, just like this, you know, like a snake. Okay. All right. So, for example, you start, wh when were you born? And then you tell me, I, I, I was born in, and then give up the answer. Was it cold last week? And you say, actually, I don't know. But let's say, yes, it was cold, or it was cool, or it was windy, etc. Okay. But try to do this very quickly, you know, so it's interactive. Okay. So let me send you to the breaker rooms very quickly right now. Uh, so you, you can. Uh... Uh, but we ignore the.
uh, black spaces? Yeah, ignore the black spaces over there. You know, it's... Okay. Yeah, hold on. Let me just... Uh, take a, a last uh, view on this one. Uh, but... So where do you see a, a, a black space over there in German? Oh, uh, where is the... Uh, Move back three spaces. Black and, yes, yes, yes. That. All right. That, yeah, the thing is that this game is supposed to be played, you know, physically. <laughs> so... Yes, I think. Yeah, that's the reason why. You cannot, like, you know, throw a die and <laughs> do it here, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's not the case. And um, let me just recreate this. Okay, seven. Now, go practice, please. Okay. Go practice, please. Thank you. All right, so hello. So how's everything going? Hello. Mm -hmm. Are you alone now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to send this to, to everyone right now in the chat. You know, I forgot to send this to you. Okay. okay. And, <laughs> you know, I always forget to, uh, uh, let's see, board games in here. And um, so what is it? What is it? Oops. Okay, just one second over here because I think I lost this cream in here. All right. Okay. Yeah, but I have it right here, and uh, there we go. Uh, all right. So the game it's on the uh, it's on the WhatsApp right now, Karim. Yes. All right, but let's do something here. Since you're you're working alone, let me uh, send you to. Uh, I'm gonna send Luis to you. Let's see if he is able to practice with you. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to move to you. All right. Because you know, uh, your what's your last name, Karen? Galdames. You're Galdames, right? Last name. No? Yeah, you're supposed to practice. Yeah, let me. Uh, It says an assignment over here. Yeah, let me send you to somebody else so you can practice with someone here, okay? Okay. Imorosan, where was my, your mo mo mother born? My mother was born in San Salvador, I mean. <laughs> okay. okay, in what month was your father born? Uh, she born in, no, in my July. Father. My father? Ah, no. okay. Uh, he was born in San Salvador too. Um, and your father? No, the month. In what month was your father born? Which one? Sorry. In what month, mes? Oh, okay. Was your um, father born? My father was born in August two. What about yours?
Um, I don't have father. <laughs> what was your favorite cartoon when you were eight years? My favorite what? Sorry. What was your favorite cartoon when you were eight years? Ocho I enjoy, okay, I, I, will, I really enjoyed uh, Boy Arnold when I was. Uh -huh. I, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a classic, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, what, what about you? What was your favorite cartoon? Oh, uh, my favorite cartoon. All right, so I'm sorry to interrupt you <laughs> and to you know cut up the inspiration. All right, so unfortunately, uh, everyone, the class is supposed to be over right now. It's nine o'clock already, nine o one. So, but as always, yes. you know, it's it's been uh, great to see you again. You know, you guys actually uh, make this class interactive. Hope to see you tomorrow, Wednesday. You know, same time, yes. same. <laughs> Same uh, channel. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I have to go actually. Cause, you know, okay. Next time, you know, see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. See okay. you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye. Yeah. Let me let me end this. Uh, so see you tomorrow, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. See you see tomorrow. Welcome. Bye bye. See you, teacher. Bye. -bye. Welcome. Night. Take care, everyone. Have a good night.